Greetings, surface warriors across the globe. On behalf of Major General Gavin A. Lawrence, Commanding General, Military Surface Deployment and Distribution Command, welcome and thank you for joining us today for SDDC's 2022 Global Deployment and Distribution Excellence Awards Presentation Ceremony. I am Glenn Blondin, Deputy Director for Logistics and Engineering. I am also joined by Mr. Wayne Marler from SDDC G6 Automated Systems Division, and together we have the privilege of serving as the narrators for today's event. As the name of today's event suggests, we are here today to recognize individuals and organizations within the command for their outstanding contributions to the success of SDDC's global deployment and distribution mission. But before we get too far along, I'd like to take a moment to recognize a few special guests who have joined us here today. We are honored to have in attendance Ms. Christina O'Brien, SES, SDDC's Deputy to the Commanding General, Mr. Bruce Bussler, SES, Director of SDDC's Transportation Engineering Agency, Colonel Fraz Castro, SDDC's Deputy Commanding Officer, and Colonel Stephen York, SDDC Chief of Staff and Command Sergeant Major Retired Kevin McKellar, SDDC's 15th Command Sergeant Major. Will the guests in attendance here please take their seats? We would also like to recognize and honor our SDDC workforce who have joined us today from around the world. Thank you for joining us. Please rise for the playing of the national anthem and remain standing as Chaplain Sean Sullivan delivers the invocation. Good morning. I will pray in my faith tradition, and I invite you to pray in yours. Let us pray. Heavenly and most gracious Father, we delight in things you delight in and focus our energy to glorify you in all we do. Today, as we bring attention and recognition to these outstanding individuals that have gone and done great work in their field, I ask they be blessed beyond measure as they support the warfighter and the efforts of this nation to bring peace to this world. Allow the few to focus on higher things beyond our grasp in hopes of achieving, achieving mighty results that may impact the many. Please give us the drive to do better and push ourselves towards excellence daily. Keep those across the globe safe, bless their families, and be glorified in all we do. It is in your name that I pray, Jesus. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, please take your seats. Thank you, Chaplain Sullivan. Now, it is my honor to introduce our Commanding General, Major General Lawrence. Sir, the podium is yours. Ms. Lynn, uh, thank you for that introduction. And uh, I wanna give a warm welcome to our distinguished guests here in the room, especially wanna recognize our new DCG, uh, Ms. Kristen O'Brien. Kristen, we're absolutely excited to have you as part of the surface warrior team. And then I want to recognize all the surface warriors 
people that are participating in today's award ceremony. Um, you know, it's good to get back to doing this. You know, we really haven't had the opportunity to do this since being hit by the COVID uh, pandemic. And, and to me, this is getting back to what I call the new normal. And uh, when this idea was presented to me by the, the staff and the, and the chief, uh, you know, we made the deliberate decision. We're going to execute this no matter what, even though you know there is ongoing construction in the auditorium here uh, at the headquarters at Scott Air Force Base. Uh, ultimately, it was important for us to take the time to recognize the great work that's being across this, done across this command, right? And they say, like I like to say all the time, you hear me say it, the sun never sets on STDC. And it really never sets on the phenomenal work uh, being done across this command. And so it's my absolute honor, my absolute privilege to preside over uh, what I call, I like to the Oscars of SDDC, right? Where uh, I get the privilege to recognize the phenomenal work that's being done across this enterprise. You know, I, I recently had the pleasure of uh, hosting a leader professional development session uh, where our direct, our guest speaker was the director of concepts from Army Futures Command. And during the course of the LPD, we had a rich dialogue about you know, what is the Army's vision, about what future tech, future conflict would look like, how that would be shaped by technology and ongoing geopolitics and as we did our assessment and we laid out the critical steps that we should be taking now as we look toward the army of 2030 you know one of the revolving themes that came up was the importance of people the importance of people as being our clear strategic advantage against any adversary and the importance in investing in our workforce investing in our workforce so that we could continue to maintain and sustain that advantage i've been in command for nine months uh this great organization and uh it has been my high honor my high honor to serve alongside the great team that comprise Military Surface Deployment and Distribution Command. We've executed countless surface delivery and multi-modal movements in support of our nation's warfighters and support of national objectives. We have and continue to sustain and operate at an absolutely high level, right? But that's born on the back of the efforts, hard work of the people of this organization. And so again, um, it's my distinct honor and privilege to host this ceremony. I look forward to recognizing the outstanding contributions and accomplishments of our great workforce, of our great organization that occurred throughout calendar year 22 that has absolutely underpinned the success of this command of US Transcom and ultimately the Department of Defense. And I look forward to continuing that trend as we look towards FY23. Thanks again for all of you being here. Surface Warriors, Army Strong, be all you can be. With that, let's go into the woods. Thank you, sir. As the CG stated, the goal of today's ceremony is to recognize individuals and organizations within the command for their outstanding contributions to the success of the SDDC's global deployment and distribution mission. The winners of this year's awards come from across the command and represent every one of our brigades and the headquarters. This year, 
in an effort to keep things moving along at a reasonable pace, we will be rep we will be presenting the awards by brigade. We'll start with the 599th, followed by the 595th, the 598th, the 597th, the 90 596th, and finally headquarters. Allowing each brigade commander to say a few words at the conclusion of the of their unit's awards. As we announce the award winners, they will be presented their Global Deployment and Distribution Excellence plaque virtually and will be provided a moment to say a few words. Upon conclusion of today's ceremony, each award recipient will be mailed their hardware along with a two star letter of congratulations from Major General Lawrence. So to start us off, let's go to the Pacific and the 599th Transportation Brigade. The Terminal Operations Soldier of the Year is Staff Sergeant Chadrick Martin, 837th Transportation Battalion. Staff Sergeant Martin is currently out on a critical assignment and not available today. Accepting the award on their behalf is Sergeant Major Rodriguez. Con congratulations to Staff Sergeant Martin for a job well done. Major General Lawrence, Command Sergeant Major Morrison. Speaking on Staff Sergeant Martin's behalf, he is grateful for his honor and wanted to acknowledge the help and support from his fellow NCOs and from the entire 837th team. Cargo Kings, Surface Warriors. Cool. Our next presentation is the personal, Personnel Support Team Member of the Year. This year's winner is Mr. Jonas Seabrooker, 836th Transportation Battalion. Good day, everyone. On behalf of the 836th Transportation Battalion, General Lawrence, it's an honor to receive the award. I credit my support staff and my command group here. Army Strong, thank you. Army Strong, who? Oh. Our next presentation is the Lieutenant General Hubert G. Smith Award for Superior Performance by an Organization, which recognizes an SDDC organization whose superior performance epitomizes global deployment and distribution excellence. The recipient of this award is the 835th Transportation Battalion. Congratulations to the champions, Warrior Support. Sir, thank you for the recognition. Uh, this award is a, a testament to the efforts of the team of teams across SD's headquarters, the 599th and 835th. Uh, so, our service warriors, Valley can be. Awesome. Congratulations, 835th. Next, we will present the Information Management Civilian of the Year Award. This year's recipient is Mr. David Inoue, 599th Transportation Brigade. Thank you very much. It is an honor to serve those who care so much about what they do every day. Congratulations, Mr. Inoue. Well deserved. Absolutely proud of you. Great job. Our next presentation is the Individual Mobilization Augmentee Soldier of the Year. The recipient is Master Sergeant Lewis Burnett, 599th Transportation Brigade. Aloha so, and mahalo, General Lawrence and the SDC Command Team for this amazing honor. Thanks to the 599th Command Team, as well as my wife, Maribel, and my children for their continued support to my service. Koa Kakua, Surface Warriors. Cool. At this time, we'll go to the 599th Brigade Commander, Colonel Todd Hanks, to say a few words. Colonel Hanks, the floor is yours, sir. Sir, team, 
I couldn't be more proud of the 599th awardees and what they've accomplished this past year. These awardees are part of the reason we're able to provide a continuous high level of deployment and distribution support to the Indo-PACOM theater. We appreciate all the work into the, the wins, the nomination process, the selection panel, and the team that put the ceremony together. On behalf of the 599th Transportation Brigade, Koa Kakua, be all you can be. Absolutely awesome, Colonel Hanks. I know that uh, you, Command Sergeant Green, and uh, Miss Gutierrez are proud, as you should be, of the significant accomplishments of the 599th. And when we talk about being on the leading edge, leading edge in terms of exercises, experimentation, uh, your brigade is where the seven of gravity uh, is with regard to Army efforts, really DOD efforts in support of that. And to see this level of high performance as you're undergoing all those requirements, just a testimony to the leadership within your brigade. So job well done, surface wars. One more round of applause for the 599. Thank you, sir. All right, we're now moving downrange to celebrate the Desert Knights of the 595th Transportation Brigade. The next award is the Command Sergeant Major Joseph D. Schinner's Junior Award for Enlisted Member of the Year. This year's recipient is Specialist Boston Thomason, United Arab Emirates Detachment, 831st Transportation Battalion. Good morning, sir. It's our major team. This is our major Belcher. On behalf of the newly promoted Sergeant Thomason, we would like to say thank you for her recognition of her hard work and dedication to the SDDC. Hey, awesome. And good to hear promoted to Sergeant Thomason. Let's give one more round of applause. Our next presentation is the Supply and Inventory Management Civilian of the Year. The recipient of this award is Mr. Don Mungasi, 831st Transportation Battalion. Sorry, Major Belcher, again for the 831st Transportation. On behalf of Mr. Don, we would like to say thank you for uh, him being a recipient for his hard work and dedication to SDDC. Awesome. Our next award is the Transportation Traffic Management Soldier of the Year. This year's winner is Staff Sergeant Benjamin Zager, 831st Transportation Battalion. This is Sergeant Major Belcher once again. On behalf of Staff Sergeant Zager and the 831st Transportation Battalion, we would like to say thank you for the recognition of his hard work and dedication to SDDC. Tip of the spear. Cool. The Major General John J. Lane Award for SDDC Deployment and Distribution Excellence recognizes an SDDC organization that has excelled in performance and made outstanding contributions to global deployment and distribution excellence. The recipient of this award is the 831st Transportation Battalion. Sir, Command Sergeant Major, Lieutenant Colonel Lieber here on behalf of Sergeant Major Belcher and the rest of the Spear Battalion. Thank you for recognizing the accomplishments of Team Spear. Uh, we're honored and humbled uh, to receive this award. Tip of the Spear. The Supply and Inventory Management Soldier of the Year is Sergeant First Class Jeffrey Lee, 595th Transportation Brigade. Thank you, sir, for the uh, recognition of the Senior Supply Sergeant of the Year. And on behalf of uh, Sergeant First Class Lee, understanding his uh, true testament of passion and commitment to the mission. Okay. The Major General Kenneth L. Provatsky Award 
for SDDC Brigade of the Year, which recognizes exceptional deployment, distribution, and transportation services of an SDDC Brigade. The recipient of this award is the 595th Transportation Brigade. Thank you, sir. Uh, good morning. On behalf of the soldiers, civilians, past and present of the uh, 595th Transportation Brigade, we humbly accept this award. Um, it's, it's honestly a team effort, and uh, we could not do our mission in this demanding CENTCOM theater without the support from your staff, from the coordination and synchronization with our sister brigades, as well as the augmentation and integration from the Deployment Support Command. Again, it's a collective team effort, proud of the team, uh, service warriors, that's nice. Cool. Yes, sir. To close uh, by saying job well done to our Desert Night team. I'll tell you, 595th is an organization uh, with a risk, rich history, rich lineage, um, number of uh, senior leaders, including those that serve here at Transcom headquarters, have had the honor and privilege to serve with that organization. In, in my opinion, one of the, if not the most dynamic, Global Combatant Command currently uh, in uh, our world. And uh, Desert Knights, you have and continue to operate at a high level. Uh, congratulations on your uh, winning the uh, SEC Brigade of the Year and on the, your individual awardees. One more round of applause for the five minutes of time. Thank you, sir. All right. Now moving to Europe to recognize Warrior Logistics in motion, the 598th Transportation Brigade. We would like to also point out to uh, provide comments after the congratulations part, please. The recipient of the Major General John R. Piatak Award for Plans Team Member of the Year is Mr. Patrick May, 839th Transportation Battalion. Thank you, sir, Mr. May. We appreciate the great job you've done in earning this award. Sir, thank you. It is an honor to represent the 598th Transportation Brigade and the 839th Transportation Battalion in Europe. Key to the med. Cool. The next award is the Warrant Officer of the Year. Our winner this year is Chief Warrant Officer 3, Alfredo Moran, 839th Transportation Battalion. Excellent job, Chief Moran, and congratulations on this achievement. Thank you, sir, Command Center Major Team for this recognition. I truly owe it to the key to the Med team and leadership who supported me throughout the year, and I am thankful to serve in this great organization. Thank you. Moving on to our next award, the Terminal Operations Civilian of the Year is Mr. Andre Cameron, 839th Transportation Battalion. Congratulations, Mr. Cameron, on a job well done. We appreciate all the hard work that went into earning this recognition. Major General Lawrence, Command Sergeant Major Morrison, and distinguished guests, on behalf of Mr. Cameron, the 839th Transportation Battalion and the 598th Transportation Brigade. It's an honor to be able to accept this award for these uh, Terminal Operations Civilian of the Year on behalf of Mr. Cameron uh, in his absence. So key to the Mediterranean, Surface Warriors. Thanks, Kerry. Thanks for accepting that award on Mr. Cameron's behalf. And then I would be remiss I didn't mention the fact that Mr. Cameron is also the uh, Transportation Center and Schools uh, Civilian of the Year uh, for the uh, U.S. Army Transportation Corps. Second time or second year in a row, he's won that recognition. So again, uh, just uh, exemplary work being done. Job well done. One more round of applause.
the recipient of the Command Sergeant Major Thomas R. Hawkins Award for Senior Non-Commissioned Officer of the Year is Sergeant Major Marcos Rodriguez, 838th Transportation Battalion. Thank you for your leadership, Sergeant Major Rodriguez, and congratulations. Good morning, Major General Lawrence, Command Sergeant Major Morrison, Mr. Bryan, Mr. Butler, Colonel Cullum, Command Sergeant Major Williams, Mr. Swift, Command Sergeant Major Retired, Mr. McKellar, SCDC teammates across the enterprise. Winning the Command Sergeant Major Thomas R. Hawkins Award for the Senior Non-Commissioned Officer of the Year. It's a great honor, and I don't take this lightly. I appreciate being selected for this, and I want to say that this award is a reflection of how hard the entire 838th Battalion has been working over the past year. I'm accepting this award in the name of the soldiers, Department of the Army civilians, and local nationals that make up this great organization. It is no understatement to say that we have achieved this recognition together. Once again, thank you, on time, on target, every time, gateway to victory, warrior logistics in motion, surface warriors, be all you can be. Whoa. Well deserved, Command Sergeant Major Rodriguez. Uh, for those of you who aren't tracking, Sergeant Major Rodriguez was uh, recently uh, announced on the uh, Army Battalion Command, uh, Battalion uh, CSM slate. So he will be leaving our organization. Uh, we're, we're sorry to see you, you, you leave us, but uh, you've left uh, an incredible track record there at 838 and, and well deserved. One more round of applause. The Major General Harold I. Small Award for SDDC Battalion of the Year recognizes exceptional deployment distribution and transportation services of an SDDC battalion. The recipient of this award is the 838th Transportation Battalion. Congratulations to the 838th Victory Gateway to Victory on this distinguished award. Good morning from Gdansk, Poland. Major General Lawrence, Commander Sergeant Major Morrison, Ms. O'Brien, Mr. Bustler, Mr. McKellar, Colonel Kellogg, Command Sergeant Major Williams, Mr. Swift, SCDC teammates from across the enterprise, thank you. Winning the Major General Harold I. Small Award for the Battalion of the Year is truly an honor. I, along with the rest of the battalion, express our sincerest gratitude for this phenomenal recognition. 2022 was truly a historic year for the Gateway to Victory Battalion. Gateway teammates, you never fail to provide the gold standard of service and support to the warfighter during this extremely busy and historic time in Europe. Every man and woman that calls the 838 Gateway to Victory Battalion home, this award is for you. You've earned it. I, along with Sergeant Major Rodriguez, thank you. You invite the spirit of what it means to be a surface warrior. On time, on target, every time, Gateway to Victory, War Logistics in Motion, Surface Warriors, Army Strong, be all you can be. Cool. Okay. Thanks for those comments, Colonel Tillman, and absolutely well deserved award. When you think about the heavy lifting that's been done at a time of uh, unprecedented op tempo, 838 has played a big part in that, uh, as you can tell by you know, where that battalion commander was briefing from. All right, and so well deserved uh, for the 838. One more round of applause, please. The Major General Henry R. Delmar Award for SDDC Company Grade Officer of the Year recognizes an individual, active duty, or reserve company grade officer between the ranks of 01 through 03 who, through their leadership, provided significant cost efficiencies and operational effectiveness in the delivery of deployment and distribution services. The recipient of this award is Captain Giotar Luja, 950th Transportation Company, 838th Transportation Battalion.
Tremendous work, Captain Lucia. Congratulations. Good morning, sir. Command Sergeant Major. I'm deeply honored and thankful of my leadership for this recognition. It is truly an honor to serve alongside the team of teams, power movers. Yeah. I'll just say, I know I shouldn't be talking after each one, but I'm going to. Um, I got the opportunity to, to meet uh, Gio uh, during my, my uh, Europe trip. Uh, and uh, um, I'll tell you, talking about impressive. I, I have no doubt in a couple of years, um, we will see now Captain Lucia standing right where I'm standing. Uh, he is an officer of that caliber and potential and uh, well-deserved GO and absolutely proud uh, to see you win this award. Well-deserved, one more round of applause. The Major General John H. Stanford Award for SDDC Site of the Year recognizes an outstanding SDDC site below battalion or headquarters level, having a shipping and or storage role, responsibility, or function. The recipient of this award is the 950th Transportation Company, 838th Transportation Battalion. Phenomenal work and congratulations to the power movers. Over to you, Major Robinson. Good morning, sir, and Command Sergeant Major. On behalf of the 950th Transportation Company, I want to thank you for this award. This is the busiest the 950th Transportation Company has been since Desert Storm, but I believe we have the right people at the right place at the right time because I've seen the power movers really come together as a team to make the mission happen, and I couldn't be prouder of what they have accomplished. Thank you, Power Movers. Thank you, SDDC. Nominal work and well-deserved, Major Robinson. Another young and upcoming leader we absolutely need to keep our eyes on and well done by the 950th. The Lieutenant General John D. Bruin Award for SDDC Field Grade Officer of the Year recognizes an individual active duty or reserve field grade officer between the ranks of 04 through 05, who through their leadership provided significant cost efficiencies and operational effectiveness in the delivery of deployment and distribution services. The recipient of this award is Major David Hall, 598th Transportation Brigade. Major Hall, thank you for your innovations, which lead to winning this award. General Lawrence, Sergeant Major Morrison, thank you for this award and allowing me to be part of the SCDC team. It has been a great honor to work with transportation professionals of 598 Transportation Brigade, as well as the SCDC headquarters. Warrior Logistics in Motion, Surface Warriors, be all you can be. Cool. Our next award presentation is the Budget or Finance Team Member of the Year. This year's recipient is Ms. Rhonda Matthews, 598th Transportation Brigade. Excellent work, Ms. Matthews, and congratulations. <laughs> Thank you uh, for letting me work in the best brigade in STDC. Cool. Cool. <laughs> Congratulations. Up next is the Brigadier General Barbara Dornink Award for Team Performance of the Year, small category with two to nine members. Winning the award this year is the 598th Transportation Brigade Booking Office. Great teamwork, 598th Transportation Brigade Booking Office. Thank you for all the dedicated effort which in, went into earning this award. We'll now, now go to the 598th to accept this award. Sir, Command Sergeant Major, 
uh, from the Brigade S3 and on behalf of the unsung heroes of the Ocean Cargo Clearance Authority of the Brigade, we are honored and humbled to receive this award. Surface Warriors, be all you can be. You are. Sure. Congratulations. Thank you. We'll now go to the 598th Brigade, Brigade Commander, Colonel Robert Kellum, to say a few words. Colonel Kellum, over to you, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, Lawrence, Command Sergeant Major Morrison, Mrs. O'Brien, and the entire SCDC team, thank you so much for hosting today's ceremony and highlighting the best capability that SCDC has to offer our people. Command Sergeant Major Williams, Mr. Swift, and I are incredibly proud to lead the 598th and the amazing people who won all these prestigious awards from almost every level of the brigade. As we all have seen from the individuals that were awarded to full battalions, the dedication and professionalism that this brigade exhibits on a daily basis for, for the UCOM and AFRICOM AORs is, are simply amazing. The FY22 time period covered pre-Ukrainian aggression where this brigade was still operating at high op tempo. Through the record setting cargo numbers that we've only seen in time of all out war, these award winners are just the top of the list of folks in SDVC, both CONUS and OCONUS, that have made our entire sustainment enterprise able to project our military anywhere in the world, on time and on target. And we are so proud of each and every one of them. Sir and team, thanks again for these amazing awards. Be all you can be, surface warriors and warrior logistics in motion. I couldn't say it better, any better uh, than the uh, 598th Brigade Commander just stated. I think it's sometimes lost, uh, and maybe Rob would agree, to, especially by people in the headquarters, is that uh, this brigade is not only operating um, at a time of unparalleled op tempo as they support all things in Europe, but they also have responsibilities to another geographical command. And um, I'll tell you, uh, the the heavy lifting uh, done by 598th, um, that part is recognized at the most senior levels of uh, our Army and, and the most senior levels of uh, U.S. Transcom. And so continue great work uh, by the 598th team and our thanks for what you do each and every day. Supported by War Pirates. One more round of applause. Thank you, sir. All right, now moving stateside to recognize the 597th Transportation Brigade Rapid Support. The General William G.T. Tuttle Jr. Award for SDDC Contract Quality Assurance Excellence by a team recognizes an SDDC government team for outstanding contract quality assurance program work. The recipient to this award is the Ocean Cargo Clearance Authority Quality Assurance Office 597th Transportation Brigade. Sincerest thanks to the OCA QA team and congratulations on your award. Accepting this award is Ms. Faye Banks. Ma'am, over to you. General Lawrence, thank you um, for this award. On the behalf of the 597 Quality Assurance Team, we're honored and grateful for receiving this award. Thank you. Congratulations, Dave. Well deserved. Thank you. Now we'll go to the 597th Commander, Colonel Jeremy, Jeremy St. Laurent, for his comments. Colonel St. Laurent, the floor is yours, sir. General Lawrence, Ms. O'Brien, Mr. Bustler, teammates, uh, on behalf of myself, uh, Sergeant Major Skelton, who's traveling, and Mr. Hanson, who is traveling, thank you for recognizing the outstanding work of our quality assurance team from the OCA section. Ms. Banks and her team are the benchmark for TCAQ's contracting officer representatives. These three ladies, Ms. Banks, Johnson, and Keller, provide quality assurance for approximately 45% of your organization's ocean shipments. Um, they, along with the SDDC G3, our 597th S3, and our terminal battalions across the enterprise represent what teamwork can accomplish 
uh, throughout. Sir, thank you. It's been an honor and I appreciate uh, the formation's recognition of uh, the OCA quality assurance uh, teammates. Be all you can be. Well done by the Rapid Support Brigade. Absolutely phenomenal work handing multiple requirements as we project combat power uh, across the, the globe. Well done, 597. I'm going to round of applause. Thank you, sir. All right, now moving to the 596 to highlight the accomplishments of the Ironclad Brigade. We'll start with the Vehicle Operations and Equipment Maintenance Performer of the Year Award. This year's winner is Mr. Justin Patterson, 833rd Transportation Battalion. We appreciate your hard work, Mr. Patterson. Congratulations. Mr. Patterson is on assignment and unavailable to accept this award. We'll go to his 833rd commander, Lieutenant Colonel John Smith, to accept on his behalf. Lieutenant Colonel Smith, over to you. Thank you, sir. Mr. Patterson is honored and humbled to receive this. It's truly a team effort and would not be possible without the support of teammates across the enterprise. Also, sir, he wanted me to extend a virtual fist bump. Proud to be 833, surface warriors, be all you can be. Well deserved and congrats to the 833. Our next presentation is the Administrative Support Team Member of the Year Award. This year's recipient is Ms. Cambria Mumphrey, 833rd Transportation Battalion. Thank you, Ms. Mumphrey, for a job well done. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. I am deeply honored and grateful to receive this prestigious award. I sincerely thank my family, my leadership at the 833rd, the selection board, and all of my professional teammates across the SDDC enterprise. Proud to be Surface Warriors. The recipient of the Command Sergeant Major Arthur Johnson Award for Non-Commissioned Officer of the Year is Staff Sergeant Manya Rivera, 834th Transportation Battalion. Thank you for your leadership, Staff Sergeant Rivera, and job well done. Good morning, uh, General Lawrence, Command Sergeant Major Morrison, and uh, SDDC team uh, all around the world. Uh, it is an extreme honor to be receiving this award. Uh, this wouldn't be possible without our standing leadership and the outstanding leaders found within the SDDC echelons. Ironclad, surface warriors, be all you can be. Absolutely representative of our backbone. Job well done. The Mr. Johnny Fisher Award for Operational Cost Effectiveness recognizes an individual who substantially improved the operational cost effectiveness of SDDC and the delivery of global deployment and distribution excellence. The recipient of this year's award is Mr. Larry Martin, 834th Transportation Battalion. Congratulations, Mr. Martin, and thank you for your excellent stewardship of our valuable resources. Thank you, sir. Thank you, General Lawrence. Command Sergeant Minister Morrison. Uh, it's an honor to be recognized with this award. Uh, it wouldn't have been possible without the support and guidance of my command and the soldier civilians here at the 834th. Uh, ironclad surface warriors, be all you can be. Well, well done, Larry. Well deserved. We'll now present the Lieutenant General Kathleen M. Ganey Award for Team Performance of the Year, large category, with 20 or more members. The team winning this award is the Military Ocean Terminal Sunny Point Fire and Emergency Services Team. Congratulations to the Matsu Fire and Emergency Services Team on winning this award. We'll now go to the Matsu Fire Station for Chief Scott to accept this award. Sir, command team, it's an honor to receive this award on behalf of Matsu Fire and Emergency Services once again. Appreciate everything. Farm love excellence.
Heap looking absolutely sharp with the team there. I got to tell you. And uh, um, uh, one of uh, a, a number of awards this uh, section has received. Job well done. One more round of applause. Thank you, Chief Scott. The next award presentation is for the Major General Charles W. Fletcher Jr. Award for Team Performance of the Year, Medium Category, with 10 to 19 members. This year's winning team is comprised of members from across the 834th Battalion, Headquarters 596th, and Headquarters SDDC. Great collaboration among these professionals. First, Accepting this award on behalf of the 834th and the 596th is Mr. Malcolm Charles, and in just a few minutes, we'll recognize the awardees over on the headquarters staff here in person. And Mr. Charles, over to you now. Thank you, sir. Command team, on behalf of both public works divisions of the MOTS, we're very grateful for this recognition. We couldn't do it without the great support we get from SDDC G4. And we look forward to continuing our commitment to always supporting the mission. Great job. Well deserved. Thank you, Mr. Charles. We'll now go to the 596th Brigade Commander, Colonel Chad Blackader, to say a few words. Colonel Blackader, the floor is yours. Sir, on behalf of the Ironclad Brigade, I would like to say thank you first for taking the time uh, to recognize some of our top performers. Uh, we're extremely proud of their accomplishment, and we're also proud of all the members and accomplishments of uh, our team across the brigade. The Ironclad Brigade will continue to deliver deployment and distribution solutions on time, on target, every time. Thank you, Surface Warriors. Be all you can be. Well done by the uh, Iron Lad Brigade and on behalf of all the senior leadership, I want to thank you for not only the accomplishments that we recognize with you today, but the work that you have done to continue to do to uh, be absolute stewards of what I call the crown jewels of SDDC, the crown jewels of US Transcom, and that's our military ocean terminals. Absolutely phenomenal work being done. Support of those strategic assets for our nation and uh, their work in terms of supporting global combatant command requirements. Well done, Iron Clad Brigade. One more round. Thank you, sir. All right, we're moving to the headquarters at Scott Air Force Base to recognize the in person award winners. Will the remaining winners of the Major General Charles W. Fletcher Jr. Award for Team Performance of the Year please come forward? Sir, the floor is yours. Uh, <laughs> a, a, um, well done uh, by the team. Um, the work done, uh, as I spoke about in support of uh, our MOTS, this um, phenomenal work. You know, I get the, uh, from time to time to brief. Uh, our senior leadership on the progress and the work being done uh, to ensure this one track because if that there's that level of concern, but it's it's you doing all the work and uh, couldn't be proud of you what you do to make sure we're staying on track. Job well done. And to echo, thank you and congratulations on your collaborative achievement. Our next presentation is the Transportation Traffic Management Civilian of the Year Award. This year's recipient is Mr. James Carr, G6 Information Management Directorate. Sir, 
Tremendous work, Mr. Carr. Congratulations. The Mr. William R. Lucas Award for Individual Outstanding Contributions to Global Deployment and Distribution Excellence recognizes an individual whose outstanding contributions epitomize global deployment distribution excellence. The recipient to this award is Ms. Jamie Hagemeyer, G3 Operations Directorate. Congratulations, Ms. Hagemeyer. We appreciate all your hard work that went into earning this. The Individual Mobilization Augmentee, Commissioned Officer of the Year, is Lieutenant Colonel Shane Patel, G3 Operations Directorate. Lieutenant Colonel Patel is not available today. Accepting the award on his behalf is the Deputy Division Chief for Exercises, Readiness, and Training. Mr. Arturo Rodriguez. Thank you for your leadership, Lieutenant Colonel Patel, and congratulations. The Contract Quality Assurance Evaluator of the Year is Mr. Robert Hockbaum, G6 Information Management Directorate. Great job, Mr. Hockbaum, and congratulations on this award. And our final presentation is the Protection Team Member of the Year. The recipient of this award is Mr. Lance D. Stratton, G3 Operations Directorate. Phenomenal work and congratulations, Mr. Stratton. Ladies and gentlemen, that completes our presentations of the 2022 SDDC Global Deployment and Distribution Excellence Awards. Through their actions and through their outstanding accomplishments, all of our awardees have clearly added to the success of SDDC's Global Deployment and Distribution mission. Please join me in a big round of applause for all of our award recipients. I'll now turn it over to the CG for his closing remarks. Major General Lawrence. Hey, thanks, Glenn. So um, I'll keep my comments brief as I made comments throughout. But once again, I, I want to recognize all our award recipients. You know, um, we talk about in the Army uh, about people first, right? And as I stated in my introductory comments, we could not do what we do as a global enterprise without the hard work, dedication, subject matter expertise of our surface warriors that are part of this organization. I'm absolutely proud to serve shoulder to shoulder with each and every one of you and um, the recognition that we did today is really a small token, small token to show our absolute pride and um, our competence and uh, how honored we are to have you as member of the SDDC team. Let's give one more round of applause to our work. Last, but certainly not least, uh, I'll just say um, events like this don't happen by themselves. Um, there are a number of individuals that, that worked hard to bring this all together. Uh, I want to officially recognize uh, our protocol team led by Ms. Melissa Poker. Melissa, job well done putting this together. Our G6 team uh, for ensuring uh, the audiovisual was uh, on point, and uh, our PCA team 
uh, by Fred Rice. Uh, job well done uh, by this. And then certainly last but not least, our G1 team um, who, who uh, put together and sent out the, the requests for submission and help collate all the nominations together and help us put this together. Just phenomenal work. Again, you know, this is part of what I call getting back to doing some of the traditions we enjoyed uh, as a command. And uh, my thanks to all the leadership that are here today. Uh, and all again, to all the surface warriors, job well done. Back to you, Chris. Thank you, Major General Lawrence. I now ask everyone to please stand and join me in singing the Army song. We're almost done with today's event, but first I'd like to thank everyone for taking time today to be here for this special occasion. Please join me in another round of applause for all of our winners and volunteers. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes our SDDC Global Deployment and Distribution Awards Ceremony. We look forward to seeing you again next year when we recognize our winners for 2023. Thank you again for joining us and have a great day. Surface Warriors, be all you can be.